What's up, everybody? Today, we're gonna polish some metal! Today we're gonna to be testing some products from Renegade Products USA. They sent me all these awesome products to test out and I figured this would be a perfect vehicle to test out their metal polishes. We're gonna detail this uh, semi, this Peterbilt semi. We're actually not gonna detail it. We're just gonna wash most of it and I'm not gonna do the inside. I'm not gonna do any paint correction. I'm not gonna wax the thing. I'm not doing anything, but I really wanted to test out uh, the metal polishing kits and uh, see how they work. And there's a lot of metal on this truck. We got all kinds of metal. We got stainless steel, we got chrome, we got aluminum that's looking pretty dull. So I'm super excited to see what this stuff can do. All right, I figured the easiest way to wash this was just to do an O&R rinseless wash so I can wash it and kind of dry it at the same time. Got my ladder, got my buckets, O&R. Let's do it. All right, I washed about half the truck. I'm too excited to use the metal polishing, so I wanna get on it. I'm not gonna win any awards for washing this truck. I just wanna get most of the bugs off so we can use this metal polish. I'm gonna open up these kits. Oh, I used some super degreaser on some of the parts to just loosen up the bugs a little better than that O&R. Let's open up these kits, let's see what's inside. This is the aluminum mini kit. In here, uh, oh cool, they got some microfibers already. This is a whole kit, uh, two uh, pads there. Oh, look at this, this is like a brick. Whoa. This is heavy too, okay. Sweet. This is attached to the buffer. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach this and I have a, a uh, rotary buffer here. That's a DeWalt, um, you're gonna attach these Pads? Do you call them pads? I don't know what you call these. Wheels? I'll find out what they call them. Wheels, you got two separate ones here, two different grades probably, and we're gonna use them with these. I gotta find out the names, I just call them bricks. And then Rebel Pro Red Metal Polish Heavy Cut. So, that's everything that comes in this metal mini kit here. You got the Rebel Red Heavy Cut, you got two wheels, microfiber towels, a couple pads, the attachment for the rotary buffer, and these two bricks. All right, we got our buffing wheel on. We're gonna test a couple different spots here. I got this diamond plate that I'm gonna try out, and then I'm gonna try the aluminum tank that they got there. We're gonna start off with the orange buffing pad. Uh, we put that on there. I actually had to go get a 5 8 nut. And then this is the safety flange that is on there. Uh, everything's together. We're gonna start off with this brown compound brick and we're gonna polish away. We're gonna see what happens here. Definitely recommend uh, a face mask, at least if you got a respirator, even better. We're gonna create some dust here and you don't wanna be breathing this in. So I'm gonna put on my dust mask, put on some glasses, start polishing.
All right, so, holy crap, this is hard work. We did a little bit of the wheel here, uh, a little bit of this diamond plate. This is just the first step with that orange buffing wheel and the brown compound there. Probably shouldn't just be laying it on the ground, but I am. Um, and then I did half of this tank here. You see that still not quite shining like a mirror, but um, got some more work to do. I'm going to put on the yellow buffing pad next, and we're gonna use the green compound and I'm gonna see how much we can refine this. I'm gonna leave that original so I can kind of go back and forth and show you the before and after. But uh, that's the older DeWalt machine and that thing is heavy, woo! So let's keep on going here. All right, another product that they sent me was this Rebel Pro Red Metal Polish. This is a heavy cut metal polish. And I'm gonna use this on the top here because I can't get into these sections with that wheel. Um, so I'm gonna test this out and see how well it works on this top stuff, see if we can match this stuff. I, I don't imagine that's a pretty heavy cut with that. So let's see how it works. Oh, it's open. <laughs> Rebel Red, Pro Red, heavy uh, metal polish here. We just did a test spot on to see if we can get it matched with the other two parts that we did with the buffing wheel and those compounds and everything. And I'm pretty impressed actually. So this is the part we did by hand. It didn't take too long. You saw me rubbing it there for a, a good minute or so. And I know the lighting kind of sucks here, but I'll try to get that for you guys. Um, and you can see the difference, you know, from what it was over here. To with the hand polishing so i'm pretty impressed with that just by hand actually so that's gonna work great for all these areas that i can't reach i don't know what to do i mean the tank goes all the way around but how far do i go so i imagine i'll probably get better at this the more i do it but you can see those are the two steps it's not quite a mirror finish you can still see i'm kind of distorted uh, but it looks a lot better than just the one step that we did you can kind of if you look really close you can see all the scratches that were input by the first step with the, the heavier cut in that orange wheel. And then this is the second after the second step with that yellow and the green compounding brick. And I think there's actually one more step that you can buy. It's not included in the mini kit, but I think that forged kit over there has it. So we'll break that open and see if we can get a finer cut out of here. I'm gonna keep on going. I got the wheels, I got the other side of that box, that diamond plate to do. So I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find these products if you want to polish metal. Much respect to anybody who does this all day, every day, but because holy crap, this is uh, a lot of work. All right, we just opened up the forge kit to see what's inside there. And it looks like it's a little more than the aluminum mini kit. You're gonna get three buffing wheels instead of the two. And it looks like we have the heavy cut, uh, the pink one, medium cut, the yellow one, which we've been using. And this is the one I was looking for, which is the white one, it, which is a fine polish. And it's came with uh, the rags and the, the applicators and everything. It also came with the, the green and the brown compounding bricks, I'm calling them bricks. And then it comes with this extra one, which is the purple one, which is a fine abrasive. This is the, the what they're calling a show polish. And we're gonna see if we can make this look like a mirror, cause it's not quite, it's pretty distorted still. So we're gonna test this out with the white buffing wheel.
Looking for some shine, baby. Looking for some shine. Uh, if I'm being honest, it's really not that much of a difference. I don't see a mirror shine like I'm seeing out of this this chrome here. I mean, that's a lot brighter shine than it is here. I'm gonna try this uh, Rebel Red. So this is the we had the tried the Rebel Red Pro, which is a heavier cut, and then this is probably um, your finishing cut here, Rebel Red Forged. I'm gonna try that on there. All right, I hope what you guys are seeing does it justice because it looks really good. I can see the big difference between um, everything here. So in the middle, we did four steps. We did the, the orange pad with the brown buffing compound. We did the yellow pad with the green compound. Then we went with the white pad and the purple compound. And then we hand polished it with the Rebel Red Forged Polish, which finished it. And it looks fantastic. There's some pitting in the tank. You know, there's some small chips. If you get really on it, you can see some pitting um, and some weird things on it. But the shine, I'm pretty happy with the shine. You step back a couple feet and it looks absolutely perfect. It looks like a mirror. You know, so that's what we came from right there. This was after just the one, the orange pad and the browned compound, the brown compound. This, I just did the yellow on. I just tried the yellow on that one and it did pretty good too. So. Um, I think what I'm going to do for the rest of it here is I'm just going to hit it with the yellow and then I'm going to go with the the white and then I'm going to finish with hand, hand polishing it with that and I think we'll be good to go because there's weird spots on here like check this out over here like how do I get over here I can't get the buffing machine inside there that's hard to get by hand so there's a lot of weird awkward spots to get here. I'm still gonna shine this. You can see how dirty this is. This is after we washed it. I'm gonna try that with that right there. See how it looks. I'll do a spot right now for you. Fantastic, right? <laughs> crazy this is a lot of work so uh we're six hours in i've tested uh, all the buffing wheels all the different compounding uh bricks here the rebel red the rebel red pro everything's working fantastic it's looking great it's just a ton of work there's a lot of metal so i'm gonna stop playing with the camera so i can get the work so i can get this done Take a, a look in the description if you guys want some metal polishing products. I will link these products uh, in the description. I don't know if we're going to be carrying them on Car Supplies Warehouse or not. They have a lot of other products too, detailing series. I want to test them out. If they're good, I'll carry them. Um, but otherwise, I'll just leave you a link for where you can find these products. Otherwise, you know, I guys appreciate you guys watching. Uh, comment down below uh, if you've uh, done any metal polishing. This is kind of my first time metal polishing. Any uh, tips for me uh, for next time? Uh, but thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.